I won't be able to ask you loud enough. I'll say, well, you married me. I swear that I will mean it. I say, well, you married me. Hey everyone and welcome back. It's Amanda. Today's video is a Valentine's Day video. It is a makeup tutorial on this kind of like sweetheart type of really flirty, simple, more neutral smoky eye. It is a, I think that it is just perfect for Valentine's Day because it's not over dramatic and you can always change up the lip if you don't want this bright of a lip or this color. I just thought that it went very well. With the makeup, you can always do a more light pink lip or any berry pink toned. You can even do a red lip. You can definitely just change up the lip any way that you'd like. Because um, I know a lot of people don't really like more bright lips. Um, me, personally, I love bright lips. So I just thought that this was a more flirty type of Valentine's Day look. It is perfect for a date night or if you just want to hang out with yourself and just look like, hey I'm just gonna put some makeup on I'm gonna make myself look good and I'm gonna be my own date mm. Mm. what is that thing right here that emoji but if you want to see how I did this makeup look then just go ahead and keep on watching first off we're gonna be taking Urban Decay Sin using a Sedona Lace 305 brush and we're gonna be putting that all over the lid Here we're going to be taking Lorox Nectar with an e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush and then we're just going to be putting that all in the crease. Make sure that you pack on this color and also make sure that you blend it very well into the crease. Here we're going to be taking Urban Decay's Toasted with a Sedona Lace EB15 brush and then we're going to be putting that on the outer crease blending it into the crease. This is going to be the Too Faced Milk Chocolate and we're going to be taking a Sedona Lace EB09 brush and then we're going to be putting this on the very outer V part of our eye to give it a more of a neutral smoky type of look. Taking Too Faced Champagne Truffle, we're going to be taking a, an e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush and then putting that on the inner corner to give it a little bit more of a shimmer look. Using Too Faced White Chocolate, we're going to be taking a fluffy brush and just putting that on our brow bone for a highlight. Using the e.l.f. Concealer Brush, we're going to be taking the Too Faced Milk Chocolate and then just putting that along our lower lash line. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, so it's time to put on our eyeliner on the top lid and then also some mascara. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Rocking Curves. And then for some lashes, we're going to be using the Ardell Curvy 415 Black. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte. I am in true ivory and I've just mixed that with the Maybelline Fit Me 
This is the new Dewy and Smooth Foundation. Then I'm just going to apply that with an RC Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki Brush. Under eye concealer, I'm going to be taking Hard Candy Glamouflage in light medium. Contour, we're going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation in True Beige, and then we're going to be using an Eco Tools foundation brush to apply that with. If you all would like for me to do a fully complete highlight and contour video, then let me know in the comments below because this is just a light hand on how I contour and highlight. I didn't really want to fully go into it with this makeup look. I wanted to keep it a little bit more simple. I usually do it a little bit more darker and more highlighted. So if you would like for me to do a full video on that, then just let me know in the comments. Taking a Sedona Lay 602 angled kabuki brush, we're just going to blend out that contour. This is the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Concealer Kit in light. We're just going to be taking the powder on the bottom with an RC Cosmetics little face brush to set our concealer with. Now to finish off this look, we're going to be taking the new Rimmel London Shock Lip Velvet Mattes. This is in 307 Meteoric Matte. If you would like for me to do a review on these lip velvets, then let me know in the comments below. enjoyed this video and I hope that if you do wear this for Valentine's Day you will let me see on Twitter or Instagram because more than likely I will be wearing this look I do have another Valentine's Day look coming up right after this one more than likely I will be wearing this for Valentine's Day just because I think that it is simple and it just to me it just is perfect for Valentine's Day just the colors go very well with the pink and the brown the shimmer Oh, okay <laughs> and then the eyelashes just make it go more toward the outer which makes it more of a flirty type of look but if you do recreate it then definitely tag me and let me know um, but I hope you enjoyed give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye everyone